Hello and welcome to IT Security Labs and today we're completing day 11 of Advent of Cyber Challenge. This is going to teach us basic cyber security skills in a fun environment following along on the Advent of Ch Cyber Challenge. So on day 11 we're learning about Active Directory. The objectives are we need to understand what the Active Directory is and also introduction to Windows Hello for Business. Then we can exploit generic right privilege and we'll actually use PowerView to look at that. Then we can learn how the shadow credentials work and exploit the vulnerability. So this is going to be a really good room for those who have not done any Active Directory exploitation. I went ahead and I signed in. I started the virtual machine and I can come in here and launch PowerShell. As you can see in my PowerShell here, we can go to the desktop. So this is assuming that we got on a machine and we need to be able to run power view to enumerate for any privilege escalation vulnerabilities. So we can say PowerShell dash EP for execu execution policy. Let's set it to bypass. Then once we do that, let's import the uh, power view. Import dash module power view. I know this is not what they did in the room. I like to import the module than just run a PowerShell script. And once we do that, we can actually enumerate here to see if there's any weak permissions. And for that, we can come back here. This is where they are looking for weak permissions. We bypassed it. Now we need to find interesting access control list. All right, so this will enumerate the box for us. Okay, so once it's done, we notice that Van Sprinkles here does have generic write permissions. So we can actually modify the whisker command. In this case, we're adding Van Sprinkle. Okay, so my whisker command, I'm saying add for the target is this Van Sprinkles user. And we should get our Ruby as command here once this succeeds. All right, it's a very long one, but we can copy from, okay, once we copy, that's a very long command. accidentally pasted it okay and let's hit enter okay it says uh term rubias.exe is not recognized okay so running it first um it fails i think there's a an error let's put it again this time i'm telling it like the binary is right here dot backslash let's see if it runs all right there we go rubias is now asking for tgt uh using the domain controller okay so after a second here we notice that we have the administrator ntlm hash here but we need to pass this hash using if winrm so that we can get there. I'm using my own Kali connected to try hack me. Okay, so coming to our Windows machine, we can say if winrm, go to this IP address for this user and use the hash. So I, here I have a space, I need to fix that. And we should be able to get in using if winrm. If we say dir, we're in documents, uh, we need to go to desktop that's where things are usually at if we say there really oh cdc users administrator just to prove that we are an admin and there here type flag dot text okay xmas is safe so that was a misconfiguration and we were able to become administrator so Thank you for being here and if you like this, remember to subscribe, otherwise I'll see you next time.